Hello students. In this video, I am going to talk about various simplification rules that you will use while simplifying K map for the Boolean expression simplification. Let us start discussing the same. The first rule is we draw a K map according to the number of variables it contains. For example, this example. So, in this given example, already we have given three variables A, B and C. So, step number one is going to be we need to draw a K map as per the given quotient. So, as per the given quotient, as an example, we need to draw a three variable K map. So, this is the three variable K map which I have drawn over here having variables A, B and C. Similarly, if you are going to have two variables in the given quotient, then you need to draw a two variable K map. Similarly, if you are going to have a four variable K map quotient, then you will be drawing a four variable K map. Let us talk about the next rule. The next rule is we need to fill the K map with respective zeros and ones as per the given function. Function means whether we have SOP or POS. Let us take the same example again y a b c. So that means a three variable k map is going to be designed. Summation small m. Summation small m signifies that we have an SOP function sum of product. So for SOP sum of product we must fill 1 in the given positions. So block 0, block 1, block 3 and block 6. In all these blocks we are going to fill one value. So 0, 1, 3 and 6 and in the remaining blocks we are supposed to fill 0. Similarly if you are going to have any quotient that belongs to pi capital M. So pi capital M signifies that the quotient belongs to POS. Then in such cases we need to fill zeros in the given positions of the block and the remaining empty places will be filled with one entry. Next rule. The next rule is that for the minimization, we always go for the grouping of zeros with zeros or ones with ones. It is not allowed to group zeros and ones together. Let us take an example. So for the given portion, the given example of the K-map, I am going to show you the groupings of 1 that is for SOP. So we can have a group of 2 this group. Next we can have a group of 2 as this group and this the last group group number 3 alone. So this is how we will be able to go for the groupings. The grouping of only 1's is allowed for SOP. Similarly if you want to go for the groupings of 0 that is for POS. So this is going to be first group. This is going to be second group and uh, this is going to be third group. That means zeros are only allowed to have groups with other remaining zeros for POS. Next rule. The next rule says that the grouping may also overlap each other. So that means we can definitely go for the overlapping of variables, the groups if we are able to go for a new group which is still pending. Example, we have designed one this group, two ones we have taken. Let us assume this as group number one. Now, this block number one, this one, we can use this group, this block once again for a new group because we want to now create a group of block number three which is still pending. So now I have designed a group of two by using block number 1 once again. So that means overlapping is definitely allowed if we are able to create any new group. Next, this is very important. A group can only contain 2 raised to power of n number of cells. So that means we can have 2 raised to power of 0 that is 1, 2 raised to power of 1 that is 2, 2 raised to power of 2 that is 4, 2 raised to power of 3, 8, so on. That means the groupings which is allowed is only allowed for 2 raised to power of n. Do not go for any random even number 
only two raised to the power of n values are allowed. That means 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, etc. So that means, as you can see this example, a group of three is visible over here, but that is not allowed because 2 raised to the power of n number of cells are only allowed while making any group in the simplification of k map. The next rule. The next rule says that grouping can only have horizontal or vertical groupings. We cannot go for the diagonal or any other shape. So hence you can see it over here. The diagonal grouping is not allowed. We can only have the horizontal or the vertical grouping. This is only possible. Next rule. Each group should be large as possible. That means if I take this example here, we can have a group of 4 by using these 4 elements. So, definitely we are not going to go for 2 separate groups having 2 to values. Why? Because if we are able to go for a group of 4, then why we are making 2 separate groups having 2 to entries? Hence, this is very very important point that the group size must be maximum that is start from the highest value. For example, in the case of your 16 combinations for variable k map which is already shown on the screen start with the maximum combination 16 which is not possible then go for 8 that is also not possible then go for 4 which is possible so definitely we are going to go for a group of 4 rather than a group of 2 so this is very important because when we are going to choose a larger group the answer will become more simplified the next important point, opposite groups and corner grouping is also allowed. So, this is an example, all the four corners can have a group. So, this is a type of a group that we can have. Similarly, we can also have the opposite grouping because you can take an example as a three dimension figure as for example a ball we have. So, all the corners are connected with each other. Similarly, over here as well, all the corners are connected with each other. So, we can actually make a group of 4 in this direction as well. So, opposite groupings are possible and we need to go for a larger group size as discussed as the previous point. Next, there should be minimum number of groups that we need to create. For example, we are able to simplify a, sim a single quotient and uh, one person is able to make five groups but the other person is able to make six groups. The same question is there and both the groupings are perfectly fine. So definitely we will give the preference to the person who has done a grouping of five. That means total five groups has been created because less number of groupings hence the answer will be reduced because our main motive over here is that we should get the simplified answer. So if the length of the answer is less we are only getting five groups. So the answer will become more simplified as compared to the person who is getting 6 group for the same question. So example, the given question, we can have 4 corners as a group which is identified with the help of red color. Next, we can have a group of 4 identified with the help of yellow color and the last one a group of 4 that is identified with the help of green color. I have taken the same example and the same 3 groups I have identified but I have created this fourth group. This is uh, identified with the help of blue color. But there is no need for making that group. Why? Because all the four ones, that is block number 0, block number 4, block number 12 and block number 8. All the variables, all the cells which are available are already a part of at least one group. By making this blue colored group, we are actually not creating any new group. So that is of no use. So hence, the same example can be easily simplified only by making three groups. Rather than to go for total number of four groups, we will be writing down the answer with the help of three groups.